If it's in your newsfeed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Baseball cards uh, somehow just becoming more and more popular. I thought they were dead and gone after the 90s, but they're back. I think they keep coming back. Uh, Patrick's friend um, actually will like go back in his old cards from yeah. when he was little and he'll send them to New York and I get verified or whatever and he makes a lot of money on them. I, I got to check out what my dad has in his uh, Yeah, attic, for sure. I, they might be worth something now. A one baseball card in particular just sold for $120,000. <laughs> it was not Barry Bonds. It was not Babe Ruth. It was... Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and his Little League baseball card from back when he was eight years old. I don't get it. Signed by him as a child in mint condition. And he looks cute as a kid. It's a shame he destroyed society. But I mean, uh, yeah, I, I think if we got to him at eight, life would have been a better place. I think that I I, I have a lot. I'm a fan of like... Of, of celebrities. I really am. And there is not one that I love. I love Beyonce so much. There's, n or like New York Giants specific ones. I it, I don't, I would never buy something like that for that amount of money. Like all I'd want is like a conversation and a picture. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's worth more than that stupid card. People buy, you know, the costumes and I could see jerseys and things like that of, of something they wore in the Super Bowl, but like not that. <laughs> Definitely not that. You know what, though? It's how many of these cards signed by Mark Zuckerberg exist on the planet? Only one, probably. That's signed by him. So, like, it's all about, like, how many of these are there? And if there's only one, that's got value, potentially. It's a famous Potentially, person. but why does it have value? I guess that's my question, because... Because like, he's does the guy he that stole the fans? idea for Facebook over at uh, Harvard. Yeah, that's why. I don't know. Whatever the case. Um, all right, let's go to Florida. Obviously, Hurricane I, uh, Ian, a total disaster there. One familiar face, though. She used to be an anchor and reporter at Fox 5 here in town, and now she's down in Florida. Her name's Kyla Gaylor, and her and her cameraman, they were tasked with doing reporting from this crazy storm. Electronics don't like water. So she had to protect the equipment. How did she do so? That's a great question. Let me tell you. A lot of people are asking, what is on my microphone? It is what you think it is. It's a condom. It helps protect the gear. We can't get these mics wet. There's a lot of wind, a lot of rain. So we gotta do what we gotta do. And that is put a condom on the microphone. And it, it's gone stupid viral to the point where I, really? I, I've never seen this done before. No, I haven't either, but I, I did, uh, I saw that, I mean, everywhere. I think I saw it at Barstool Sports. I think I saw it on TMZ as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was everywhere yesterday it's, for uh, sure. It's crazy. Congratulations yeah. to Kyla Taylor. She is officially- oh, she's viral. Viral. Took it viral. Uh, okay, speaking of viral, okay. This is, I don't care how pessimistic you are. I don't care if you're the darkest heart. This video, which is currently at 1027vgs.com, is the sweetest thing ever. His name's Isaiah Garza. He's a TikTok creator. Mm -hmm. You never hear me say anything positive about TikTok, but this is going to be it. This guy decides he wanted to find an elderly man to be on, on a video with him that mm -hmm. day. He approaches this sweet man in a park. This is how it went down. Take a listen. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, not too bad. How are yeah. you doing? I'm sorry to bother you. Um, oh. I've had a really, really rough day. I just wanted to see if you'd be willing to go to Disneyland with me today. Hey, that's great. <laughs> you really want to take me? My God, I can't believe this. So then they start going on the teacups. Gets him. Like It's the sweet. He's a 97-year-old he's a mm -hmm. war vet. This video is going to make your heart melt towards the end isaiah who by the way five years ago was homeless on skid row uh asked him how did you enjoy your trip how does it feel to be at disneyland today oh my god this is one of the best days of my life i feel like i'm i might be dreaming or something <laughs> i thought my life was over i'll remember this day for a long time you don't know how much i appreciate this it is the so sweetest video. Yeah. <laughs> I almost cried just now. You can go to 1027 bgscom so The whole sweet. story behind it, it's unbelievable. Uh, his caretaker or said, hey, you know, he was looking for a senior citizen on on uh, Craigslist out of mm -hmm. nowhere. And the caretaker saw it. It's like, oh, I have somebody that's perfect for that. And he, he's like, don't tell him. Just bring we'll him to this surprise, park. Yeah. We'll surprise him. And now they're making a bucket list Love to do more that. stuff together. So cute.